Jeep goes back in my summer car today. We are our package. I just got the phone call. Like literally, I saved the game the other day uh, when I was playing. I took my car down to uh, Flatari's to get fixed. I got it back this morning, and when I got back, the phone was ringing and my package is there. And I haven't had time. Uh, I hadn't started the recording yet because I was just busy going to go pick up my car from Fatari, which cost me $8,600 or something stupid. Either way, we're going to go to town and pick up our package that has arrived. I believe it may be our flywheel. So we're a little low on money. I had to spend, I made some money delivering wood and uh, I picked some strawberry. Like the whole thing has been, the whole thing was sucked. And I just, I'm low on money. My kill you is just about ready. I'm going to go and do this right. It should be ready by the time I get back. We're going to take this car because everybody seems to like me driving this car. Okay, so I'm going to, and I know I hate driving it because I just know it's going to be a problem. Okay, let's just make sure the steering wheel works. Okay, it's got everything set up, ready to go. And the clutch is terrible. I read about this and I'm not wrong. I, if you go read up about my summer car and the clutch, it is super sensitive. I thought it was just me. Not being able to drive it with a clutch, and I'm just like, dude, I drive with a clutch every day. Not sure what the problem is. Okay, so we're going to put the seatbelt on. We got that on. All right, so we're going to go. This is what we're going to do. All right, so we're going to go to town, but we also need to pick up our kill you bottles. So I think what we'll do is either, I think I'll head and get the kill you bottles first, and then go to town to get the the the, uh, the package, but we will see. Am I out? I'm in, park breaks off. Yes, okay. All right, so we're going to go do that, I think. Once I get this figured out how to launch this damn thing without, ki without killing it. That's the best I can do. All right. Because <laughs> that clutch is super weird, man. You know what I want to do, actually, is the force feedback is really, really, really high on this. So give me a sec here, actually. I'm going to stop for a sec. And I am going to turn down the forces a bit here, so just hang on. All right, let's give this a shot. There we go. Now it doesn't seem so aggressive. <laughs> Better. There we are. Now we're going to keep it at a relatively normal speed here. But we got to get to... The, oh, the, actually, you know what, actually? To get to the dump, it'd be easier to do it on the way home, I think. Because I would have to backtrack to get to the dump. See, I'm just going to go to the dump on the way home, I think. I think that makes it easier. Because I can just go to town. What day is it? It's Friday. Are the police out on Friday? I hope not. I don't even, I don't even know, how are you guys doing? I, I'm glad you're here watching. I hope you enjoy this. I, I'm a little all over the place today. I had a, I've had a lot of stuff happen in the last 48 hours. So <laughs> I've got a lot going on. Let's see here. Let's take a look around. You really got to rev this thing up to not kill it with the clutch. All right. There's there's still a guy in the comments who accuses me of not using the clutch in the long drive. I promise you, I'm using the clutch in the long drive. I promise. I totally do. I, I, I totally use the clutch in every instance. Oh, God. I get. I shift with it constantly. Because I can. There we go. Come on, baby. See, we're going to go to town. We'll get the parts. I'm not sure I'm going to install them because I'm not sure I have time today, but we will see. Because it's a flywheel, so I'm going to have to pull the whole engine out to do this. And I'm not going to have time to do that today. That's going to be a project unto itself. Let's see here. Take a look just a yield so we should be all right okay there we go come on perfect okay the clutch can go back in now there we go 
Now we're going to want to keep it right around 100 just for uh, the police sakes, but uh, we don't catch the police until after, like further up the road, so I don't have to worry about it until at least then. So we can speed up until we get to the point uh, where our, uh, our turnoff is up here. Perfect. Okay, we're going to come in behind this bus going way too fast. Is that a bus? I think that's a bus. Okay, now we're just breathing in smog. What is going on here? Okay. This is so slow. I always get caught in traffic in this game. <laughs> like, I've watched some other YouTubers play the game. Uh... When I was trying to figure out my steering wheel settings, and I'll tell you, like, they don't get stuck behind buses and cars and stuff all the time. Just seems to be my problem. This is great. You know, I feel like this is like driving in the countryside for me. Every road that was around me was 80 or 90 kilometers an hour when I was a kid. So, like, this is just, this is just like that. I'm just on some sort of regular everyday driving about. Doing 80. <laughs> Well, at least this gives us time to talk. So I hope your week is going well so far. I realize it's only Tuesday, but, you know, it's fine. It, 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 hopefully everything just gets better and better as the week goes on. This is so lame. Is that, is, do I have my clutch or my choke all the way in? Yeah, I think so. We're good. Oh, my goodness. This is going to take a day and a half to get there. Now, there's a mod I would run. Return off the police. No, don't suggest a no police mod. Because I won't run it anyway. There's no point. Maybe one day when I'm just playing the game by myself and not recording, I might. But until then, here we are doing this. <laughs> I don't see a cop anywhere, so we're fine so far. Usually they're kind of like in here where you get pulled over. So I haven't seen them in a while. I don't know if it's just random what day they show up. But I seem to have gotten nailed. I checked my old videos and I got nailed twice on a Thursday. So I'm starting to think they come out on Thursday. At least this part of the road. I had the radar detector going off once. Um, when I was on the back road over by the... Uh, what is that place called? The Pavilion? Where you go to the dance and stuff? I had to go... <laughs> good turn, bus. Good turn. Let's just... Uh, pull this around over here. In case those punks show up. All right, let's uh, shut her down here. Okay. Perfect. Get out of the car. All right. Thanks, car. You did a good job. You know, while I'm here, actually, because I was thinking about this, I haven't checked my oil in a while, so let's, uh, oh, I got all hood pins now, don't I? I kind of like the hood release better. <laughs> kind of like it. All right, let's see here. Let's put this down here for a second. All right. Where is my oil dipstick? There it is. Let's check this dipstick. What do we got? Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We are golden. Okay, big waste of taking that off. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine you're just in the parking lot at some place and dude's got his hood off trying to check his oil? Okay. I, I saw you, buddy. Where are you? Come. Oh, right there. Perfect. Okay, hood pin. This thing is sketchy as hell, man. Like, the way it vibrates like this. And it seems to settle down over time, but we'll see. There we go. Let's, uh, let's get inside. Uh, Tiamo, buddy, what's going on? Hey, to the dishes and the dishes to the wa dishwater. I don't, I don't understand. It was 1500 bucks. There was all my money. All my money, Fleety Boy. It's just... Or not Fleety Boy. You're not Fleety Boy. Tiamo, it's all gone. You just... You're using oh, up my funds. I don't want to deliver <laughs> your adverts. I just... Okay, just stop. Stop. Oh, my God. Tiamo, buddy, I gotta go. I... <sighs> yes, keep talking. Nobody's listening. Stop talking! I Just stop, please. Please stop talking. Just friggin' stop. Oh my god, you just talk and talk and talk, and you talk and talk and talk, and it drives me insane. 
Just please stop. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, where was I? Woo, okay. You know what? I think I'm low on this. You know, I could swear I'm low on that. Uh, you know, I don't want to buy a bottle if I don't need it, though. I don't got a lot of money. Uh, the, if, oh, no, okay, yes, I did pay for my thing. There it is. There it is. There's the one thing. Yeah, I'm not going to have time to install this today, and I kind of want to. Let's see. Let's open this up. Let's see what we got. Yep, there's the flywheel right there. This should make it rev. It won't add power, but it it frees up rotation. <laughs> and now it's probably scratched all the hell. Okay, it frees up. It makes the engine rev better uh, because there's less rotational mass. So we're going to toss that on the passenger seat. We're going to get in here. This should still be warm. So we should be all right. Let's, no, let's go get our kill you bottles, and we'll call it a day for now. And I, I'll install that, I think. Okay, let's just put this on in my next episode. Because like I said, I don't have a lot of time, and I do apologize for that. But I don't uh, I don't always have a ton of time to do these videos. So uh, today is one of those days. Okay, let's see here. Now this time, we're not going to get sideswiped by some idiot in a, in a, in a, was it a green car last time? I think? Oh, great. Here we go. This is why I get hit, because I can't get the thing to go properly. You know, I've been driving stick shifts my whole life, and I've never stalled one. In, I haven't stalled a stick shift in 20, probably 25 years. Of course, getting it into gear, forget that all the time. All right. Come on. Perfect. Okay, here we go. I think there's something on the road back there, but I could be wrong. There we go. Let's keep her under 100 for now. And then we'll go get our kill you bottles that were set up for the next time we come in. We can do kill you. And then we can do, uh, yeah, that thing's there. We're fine. We can do kill you and install the flywheel in the next episode. Like I said, it's just a time constraint today, and I do apologize. I normally like to do better videos than this, but, you know... I like I, I got looking at my I got kind of shell shocked today when I noticed my subscribers were pushing five thousand. I've been asked to do an AMA at five thousand. I don't know who would watch that, but uh, one of my admins asked, so I said I'd do it, never thinking I'd hit five thousand. And now here we are. <laughs> we're like on the cusp of five thousand, and it's 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 kind of a thing. And and I got it. I need you to downshift, bud. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Friday. Oh, it's the fr it's the Friday night drags. Oh, I stand no chance of competing. Look at these cars, man. Holy jeez! Listen to those things. That's wild, man. Okay, let's see here. Where's the entrance to this place? Alrighty, let's uh. Drive up over the piles of garbage. There we go. And my kill you bottles should be there. They are. I can see them from here. All right, let's uh, park and break this. Do you want to leave it idling? You know, it'd be a good test to see if it ever overheats. All right, let's get out of here. All right, take the seatbelt off. Get out of here. There we are. We'll open the trunk, and okay, just open the trunk. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's I forgot. There's no back seat, so there's nothing gonna hold them in place. Oh, you know sometimes you make mistakes and not bringing the people always ask me, why don't you take the car everywhere? Why why do I always take the van? This is why. This thing's terrible at carrying things once you have the rear seat out. All of, everything just slides around the car. And this, and I'm always afraid I'm going to damage it, you know? Like, you're constantly in a state of attempting to uh, not damage this thing. And the other vehicles do get damaged. Like, I've seen uh, the van with dents in it before. But, oh, great. Here we go. But it seems to not matter. Because when you log back in, the dents are all fixed. Whereas in this thing, any dents you add, get, like, are there when you get back. Now, which is even weirder, actually. I was going to say, I was going to say this. When I came in to fix the car... After I crashed it last time, right when I was done, uh, done recording for you guys, I made some money, and then I just kept playing the game. I made some money, and then I dropped the car off. Um, or I went to, I was going to drop the car off, but then I had to uh, had to log off for a bit. Oops. Quit the game for a bit, and I came back 
reloaded the game and all my dents were still there, but they were different dents. I then had dents uh, on the other side of the car as well that weren't there before, which is really strange. This is just, oh my God, Did you do you have to keep closing, please? You know, I can't get that thing open or closed to save my life, but the second I want it to stay open, yeah, it's just, a, oh, someone's drag racing. Ah, uh, the fun of the drags. You know, I miss drag racing. That was always fun. Nice, cool to watch. Go out for the Friday night drags, man. Okay, let's see here. Got a drag track not too far from my house. Good times, good times. About a 25 minute drive, I guess, not too bad. All right, let's see if this thing overheated or it hasn't overheated. It would have shut off, I guess, but I think we're good for the cooling system. People keep telling me it's going to overheat. No, nah, that's fine. I didn't even need the racing radiator, honestly. Let's see here. All right, this can go up. Okay, now we got to... You know, it's just like what's nice about the GT steering wheel is the fact that it says GT, it's easier to figure out when you're... Uh, when you're, uh, sorry, making sure I'm slipping my cr clutch properly. Um, when you're centered again. Like, do you know those, those wheels that have the strip of metal or the colored tape on them to tell you when they're centered? Yeah, that's what the, the symbols in the center are good for. Oh, okay, is this the exit? Oh, this is the exit here. Nice. All right, perfect. Now we got to go through the drag races without causing too much problems. <laughs> Too many problems, I should say. Oh, goodness. There we go. I could probably beat a couple of these guys at a drag race, but I'm definitely not set up for drag racing. Okay, shift, please. Thank you. Jeez. Some, if you don't get the clutch completely to the floor, it'll do that. Hope I didn't damage anything. <laughs> All right, bouncing it off the red line. That ah, should be fine for a little while. We're good. Fuel mixture's good and rich. We're not gonna burn through too many pistons. Then we get back to the main main highway and take that home. Although I really should go that way and practice the course, because that's the way I'm gonna have to go when I do the rally race, which is coming up. Like we are on the cusp of the rally race right now. Once I get this flywheel installed. We should be like right there. All right, take up the whole road. This is how you have accidents, brother. I'll tell you, let me let me tell you. This is how you have accidents. You get into this. There we go. And then you start driving like a maniac because it's kind of fun to drive as a maniac. Ah, Jesus, buddy, what the fuck? What are you driving at me for? Okay, that guy goes on the list. Right under Pina. That guy's got penis and white car guy. Y'all gonna die, fool. Oh my god, that was he came right at me. Jeez and crackers. Oh my god, my heart skipped a beat. Woo! Not good times, not good times. I gotta get home fast. Today's getting dangerous and we haven't even done anything. Okay, we got a problem. What happened here? Oh, well, this guy's had accidents. Not my problem. There we go. It won't shift third today for some reason. There we are. All right. You gotta be very deliberate with third gear today. You know, my BMW's like this a little bit. Where, like, the transmission is not a fan of cold weather. And it takes about... Uh... I don't know, maybe like 15 minutes? 20 minutes? Like, well, maybe not 15. 10 minutes, maybe? Before, like, it shifts okay. Now, it's a manual, which I find really weird, but it does. When it's cold, it does not like being cold. It just really doesn't. Any of you guys drive manuals? It's, I find it's very uncommon with Americans, but it's, it's very common with people from Europe. Well, different parts of Europe, especially the UK. In Australia, seems to have a lot of manuals. Yeah, like I said, once we get the flywheel in, 
That's every performance part on the car except the nitrous. And I'm not going to need nitrous to do a rally race. That's a, that's a total drag racing uh, move right there. So it should be relatively easy at that point other than practice. Now, I'm not sure how fast you got to go to win the rally, but I know I'm not fast enough yet. But we'll get there. We will get there. All right, we're home again. All right, let's down. Uh oh, I can't. I missed the downshift. <laughs> Perfect. This is this is what I like. All right, there we go. Let's pull it up a bit. Just keep dumping the clutch. There we go. Perfect. All right, this will work. And shift that into neutral. Okay, you can come off that. Temperatures are good. Everything's great. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Now, everything is in here, right? Yeah, okay. This is fine. We'll leave that till next time, but I'm going to pull the the clutch plate out. Ah, like the flywheel here. Perfect. Okay. And we'll set this. It's a nice one. You know, it's lightweight, so that's always nice, which means that thing's going to be even harder to launch <laughs> by the time that's done. So... I'm going to end this episode here because the kill you still kill you because I got to fill those up, but it's still doing its thing. So I can end this episode here. Sorry it was a short one. Like I said, I have super a lot of things I got to do today. Um, not to mention 90 books wants to uh, try driving on my computer, which is weird. Anyway, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. We need a beer. We're kind of thirsty. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Maybe grab a beer and have a beer with me. Well, we're standing in the garage in this game. We're stressed. We are definitely thirsty. <laughs> and if you did like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you so much for watching. Love every view I get. Also, if anybody could post in the comments about how you go to the rally and start it, I would love to know because I have no idea. Or at least point me towards a resource on the web. Anyway, yes. Scapegoat.